It's another beautiful day and look where I am at the moment. Isn't it unreal? It's so beautiful and the nature is beautiful and fall is one of my favorite seasons in general because it's so nice and so colorful. But before we get into today's video, I want to give a shout out to Shan Bonin. Check out his uh, YouTube channel, please. I'll leave a link in the description down below. He has lots of cool saltwater uh, aquariums and lots of cool stuff. So please check him out for me and let's get into today's video. So in today's video, I want to do a quick review about Eheim a heater that I bought. And I thought it would be very cool for some of you guys who are looking to buy one of those guys or maybe have one to do this quick review and show you how it looks and pretty much talk about basics of what this heater can provide. So guys, I love nature so much as you can probably tell by all of my videos. And that's why I like to bring this nature to your screens so you guys can enjoy it with me. So let's go ahead back to my fish room and we will start the review of the Eheim uh, uh, heater. is an Eheim uh, heater 250 watt power. I was looking for a heater for a long time and I had a lot of heaters uh, in my aquariums prior to this one. And this is my first Eheim uh, brand heater ever. But when I found this guy and I did a lot of research on it, lots of people said it's one of the most reliable heaters out there. And uh, time will only tell if it's true, but it says on the packaging it's made in Germany so that already has to say something by itself. And let's look at this uh, heater a little bit closer, what it says here on the box. It, it says it may made from thermo safety control, enables running dry protection, heater will shut off uh, when out of water, all that great of stuff, uh, made of shatterproof glass, uh, precise temperature regulation. This is actually one of the key features about these heaters that they are very precise in keeping your aquarium at the temperature you set it. Because you know, lots of heaters, they always tend to not turn on or turn on too much or turn uh, or not turn on at all. And this makes uh, water temperature always jump a couple degrees below or up. And it really makes a huge difference in the end of the day for your fish because your fish uh, need the best possible environment and if the temperature will keep dropping all the time it might not be that much for the bigger fish but if you keep fry or for example you want to raise fry this is the heater for sure for people um, to have 
And also it has an on and off indicator light, all the obvious stuff, extra long cable, and includes uh, two suction cups uh, pretty much to hold it in place. So let's open it up and see actually how it looks because I didn't open it yet. So this will be the first impression of my first impression and yours as well. Yeah, pretty cool actually guys. It has the instructions like usual. There's three different sizes I believe they have. And the one I have is the middle size 250 watt. And what I kind of like about this filter already, as I can actually feel it, it's actually made out of some nice materials, like no cheap stuff at all. And over here, there should be this dial, which is unique to Eheim, where you can set your temperature uh, up very, um, very precisely, which is very cool in my opinion. So let's go ahead and uh, set it up in my 75 gallon aquarium and see how it works. Uh so, and I forgot to mention that it's fully submersible heater, 250 watt in my case. You can get these in, uh, I believe in 200, 300 and maybe 100 or and 150, I'm not too sure. But uh, the reason I got 250 because it was uh, the same price as 200 and, uh, watt heater and I might as well have a little bit bigger guy. And, and one and one hair that'll be just a little bit more economical. And look at this guy. The light is over here, guys. You see, has a nice dial, lots of options to get your temperature where you want it to be. And it, it's kind of big, but I think it looks kind of cool. And um, Eheim products uh, seem to do very good. I'm not sponsoring any of Eheim products, but it's just my personal opinion. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, or, or leave a comment down below and I will sure uh, answer your questions and I will make an update after uh, six months what I think about this heater and how it works. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you find it helpful and uh, interesting and I'll see you in my next videos as always and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.